Okay, 5.2, special products. So we're going to look at special products now because later on we're going to be able, to, we're going to have to do this backwards. So in 5.2, we're expanding special products. So you're asked to expand the following and you're given a, a couple of examples here. And these examples refer to how to expand when you have a square. Well, what does it mean when you have a square? Well, for example, x plus 3 all squared is actually just x plus 3 times x plus 3. And when you expand that using FOIL, so expand it out, you'll have x times x, which is x squared, and then plus 3x, and plus 3x again, plus 9. And you will get this as your answer. All right, so... Let's look at how the relationship to these numbers and the original question. All binomials squared, so this is a binomial that's all squared, will result in a trinomial all the time. That will always, always be true. Something else to note here is that we have x times x, which is x squared. x times plus 3 is plus 3x and plus 3x again, and then plus 9. So we get 3x plus 3x is 6x. We have x squared plus 6x plus 9. So how do we look at this? Looking at the first term, we square it. That gives us x squared. And the last number is the last term squared. That's the last number right there. So 3 squared is 9. That is our last number. Our middle term is found in a sp special way. Now again, you can expand this this way, or you can go straight from the question to the answer by doing the following. Multiply everything you see. You see an x, you see a 3, and you see a 2. Multiply all of those values together. Again, x times 3 times 2. And that, folks, will give you 6x. And that is true all the time. So I can expand the second one by writing x squared plus 4x plus 4. How? Well, remember, x squared, square the first, multiply everything you see, square the last. So square the first, multiply everything you see, square the last. I see an x, a 2, and a 2, and that gives me 4x. Let's try the next one. x squared, multiply everything you see, minus 8x, plus 16. So x squared minus 8x plus 16. All right, let's do the next one. x squared minus 12x plus 36. That's right. Multi square the first. Multiply everything you see, square the last, and it will always be true. 4x squared plus 20x plus 25, and finally the last one, 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. Now, something to note. The pattern that I'm giving you here only works for binomial squared. You would have to have a different... Uh, formula if it was something else. But here it only works for binomials squared. And if you forget, you can always go the long way and expand it out like I did in part A. All right, moving forwards. So we're going to look at what patterns do you notice with the question and the answer? Well, a plus b all squared is actually equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Square the first, which is a squared. Square the last, which is b squared. And the middle term is multiply everything you see. You see an a, a plus b, and a 2. So you multiply everything that you see, and you get plus 2ab. Now what happens if we change it? That plus to a minus. So either plus or minus. What will happen inside? Well, the only thing that will change, folks, is that middle term 
will have the same sign as the middle of the perfect square. This is known as a perfect square trinomial. Now, another trinomial you'll be exposed, uh, sorry, another pr special product you'll be exposed to is the following. A minus B times A plus B. All right, now I want you to notice, now that was a little too fast there, so I'm going to explain this to you. All right, sorry, here we go. Let's move forwards a bit. Okay, perfect square trinomial. Here we go. This, folks, is equal to, I want you to understand this. Let's use expanding the regular way, okay, using FOIL to get the answer we're looking for. So you have a squared plus ab minus ab minus b squared. Now let's go a little, this, this is too far. This is the expansion, right here, is the expansion of this, okay? And that expansion, you'll notice that plus ab and minus ab actually cancels itself to give us a squared minus b squared. This is true a squared minus b squared is only true, is only the final answer, when you have the same beginning in both brackets, same end in both brackets, but different signs in the middle. That is known as a difference of squares. So a difference of squares is, now notice the word difference. Difference means minus of squares. So there's a perfect square on one side and a perfect square on the other side. a squared minus b squared is a difference of squares. All right, let's move on and see some examples of difference of squares. So example number two, you're asked to expand and simplify. x plus one all squared. You can do that yourselves. But we're going to get a little more complicated and look at questions that involve not just perfect squares, but also difference of squares. So, A will expand itself to be, let's see, x squared plus 2x plus 1. B will expand itself to be m squared minus 10m plus 25. And C will expand itself to be 4x all squared, which is 16x squared, 4x times 3 times 2 will give us 24x, and 3 squared will give ourselves 9. All right, moving forwards. D, 9m squared minus 12mn plus 4n squared. 3m all squared is 9m squared. 3m times negative 2n, which is negative 6mn times 2 is negative 12 mn and then the last gig is uh, last part sorry is going to be 4 n squared there we go now the next one is that a perfect square nope because there is no square but it is a special product it is known as a difference of squares why because we have the same beginning same end just different signs in the middle when they're different we have a difference of squares, r squared minus 121. Now, if you wanted to, you could expand it just like I showed you here in red, but it is not a necessary step, and you will not lose marks if you don't show it, and you will not lose marks if you do show it. All right, moving forwards. Let's look at f. Is f a difference of squares or a perfect square trinomial? Well, we can see it's a binomial because it's two, uh, two binomials, and they both have different signs in the middle. So we expand that using difference of squares, and we get 4x all squared minus 9y squared. Sorry, not 4x all squared. It's 4x squared minus 9y squared. All right, so that's the end of the video for this part, folks, and have a numerical day. Take care.